Manchester United won. FC 20 won. And the United Twins need to speak about it. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, Cappy. Make sure you're hitting that like button. Subscribing if you're new, sharing to your friends and frenemies. Now, in what could have been perceived to be a relatively straightforward, comfortable performance away from the scoreline, somehow Manchester United found a way to capitulate at home and the celebrations from FC 20 with their traveling contingent just showcased how much of a massive, how much of a famous result that was for them and the club overall. Kicking off match day one at Old Trafford and coming away with a point. That first half had vibrant moments, especially at the start for us. And, and funny enough, FC 20's biggest chance other than the goal came around that period when the eventual goal scorer later on, Sam Lamos, just guided the ball wide of Onana's goal after a cheap mistake from Diogo Dolo. Tried to deflect the ball out for a throw in, but didn't weigh up the risk to reward in that moment with him not being able to cover for a potential mishap. Away from that, there wasn't a lot of goal mouth action for them. Marcus Rashford came back into the starting lineup and looked fresh, yeah. exuberant and threatening. Motivated to take on Bart Van Rooge and he was occupied heavily in that first half trying to contain him. Things obviously changed after the 15 minute break. Interestingly, I felt that the game was opening up towards the end of that first half and then that brilliant Christian Eriksen strike came about to put us into the lead. Reverse pass from Bruno <clears throat> finds Diogo Delo, sorry, who couldn't quite gain full control of the ball. Fortuitously, it rolls away from the foot of Hilgers and is perfectly set up for a first time laser. Fine finish and one I was hoping that would have cooled down proceedings at Old Trafford a little. We saw out the first half in a decent enough manner, but what happened in the second period may have just found its way into this season's book of concerns. The goal they scored was remarkably calamitous on our end. Boy. Sensational on this. When you think about the area Van Rouge picked up the ball in their defensive third and he just starts to charge past one, past two, past three and four and five players until it's broken up momentarily. So when the ball deflects to Ericsson, only Delo and Majrawi are behind the ball, wide apart. Ericsson with his back to the press is being hunted down vigorously as he hesitates, takes one fatal touch, unaware about the location of Sam Lammers, pickpocketing at its finest. Mikel Arteta might want to bring him in for a team dinner. And I don't even know if that's a joke I should be making. Lammers runs away and deceives Andre Onana at his near post, smashing in that equaliser. Everything about that moment was horrific. We rested on our laurels, felt comfortable in the position of leading even though that scoreline was far from convincing and ultimately a costly mistake changed the entire dynamic of this fixture. You could feel the shift instantly. 20 fans were in delirium, the players on the field suddenly started to puff out their chests and wanted to attack in transition with every opportunity they had. Manchester United were backpedaling and fell into their routine of panic, angst, any word really you can find to describe the anxious mood within the fan base inside Old Trafford after witnessing repetitional turnovers of possession and defence that was hanging on for dear life. Almost everything that could have gone wrong came to fruition. Christian Eriksen said post-match that the 20 players wanted it more and that's not right. You're damn right it isn't. But what can you do? When there's a track record of these things happening time and time again in the face of adversity, how do you overcome those mental barricades as individuals and a collective? Deep, important and character testing discussions should take place before the issues you dance around become untenable. One win in our last nine European fixtures, which includes five defeats and Three draws along the way against teams like FC Copenhagen. Remember that last season in the Champions League? Bayern Munich, of course, Galatasaray. Trauma awoken. We also found out after full time that our 
Carabao Cup fourth round opponents will be Leicester City at home. That will be a game for late October, I believe. But for now, it's about these four days between another disappointing draw and Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday, who will be playing European football on the day of this video coming out against Carabag. A strange start to their overall campaign, not quite hitting their stride as they did in Ange's first season, really has become an important game for both teams. And all eyes will be on Eric Ten Hag and the way this team performs once more. Let us know how you felt, how you feel about that 1-1 draw between Manchester United and FC Twente. What your thoughts are heading into Spurs? You reached the end of this video, right? In the comments, same old. <laughs> if you laugh, well, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. <laughs> Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Share to your friends and your frenemies. The frenemies are an important part. Until the next time. Come on. We'll see you lot sooner, bitch.